Hello, welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to apply what we've learned with regards to the step function of uh, inductor circuits. Uh, and we're going to apply it to this uh, problem right here, which looks a little complicated at first, but when we walk through it, I think you'll find that it's not that big of a deal. First thing I see right off the bat is I forgot to label this as two ohms. So what we have is, notice first of all, that there is a switch that moves at T0. But at first, the switch starts over here, so this part of the circuit is active before the switch movement. And when it moves over here, it disconnects this part of the circuit and it connects to this part of the circuit, which has another source. So you have 24 volts over here, 2 ohms, 200 millihenries, 10 ohms, and 8 amps over here. And the question that we want to find is find the current flowing through the inductor as a function of time for t greater than or equal to zero. So we know that before the switch moves, you can essentially cover up all of this stuff. There is current flowing here through the inductor. We switch it over here. All of this stuff is now removed, and there's another source competing you know, with the current that was initially flowing. And ultimately, there's going to be some kind of an exponential increase to some final value of a current. That's what we really want to find out. What does that look like? What does that function, that exponential function, look like that governs the current flow through this inductor as the switch moves on to infinity, from t greater than zero? All right, so the first thing we want to look at is what does the circuit look like before the switch moves? So it's over here, so you can essentially cover all this stuff up. And what's going to happen here is if, if the circuit was left in this position for a very long time, then this inductor is going to look like a short circuit. So initially, before any switch moves anywhere, this 8 amp source is going to bypass this completely. It's going to totally go through the inductor and circulate like this. Because remember, inductors look like short circuits in the steady state after a long period of time has elapsed. Uh, if nothing is changing, they look like short circuits. So the 8 amps here is really flowing up through this inductor before the switch moves. So this is one of those weird cases you see I have to construct a pretty odd looking circuit to get a case that I told you was pretty rare before and that would be the initial current I naught flowing through there is negative 8 amps. The reason that it's negative 8 amps is because the current through the inductor is labeled going down. So everything has to be self consistent. If the current is flowing down then the initial current is flowing contrary to that then we have to put the negative sign there. Um, to indicate that it actually is flowing opposite of the way that the, the drawing is given to you. When we try to find the solution, we need to assume the current's going down. Um, so the initial current flowing through this inductor before